Today, I'm going to show you a simple science experiment that you can try at home to learn about density. Start by taking an empty glass and tip in some water and food colouring. Then add some syrup or treacle. And I'm going to add a little bit more water to make the layer a bit thicker. Then finally, fill the glass up with some oil and leave it to settle for about 15 minutes. These liquids separate out into different layers because they're different densities and they don't mix. The syrup has the highest density, so it sits on the bottom, and the oil, which has the lowest density, rises to the top. Try dropping different objects in to see what happens. If we drop this metal nut in, which is really dense, you can see it sinks right to the bottom. But if I take this grape and drop it in, it sinks through the oil and water, but sits on the syrup. This is because the syrup is denser than the grape. Pretty cool, huh? Now if I take this plastic bottle top and drop it in, it slowly sinks through the oil and sits on the water. And finally, if I take this piece of sponge and drop it in, it sits on top. It is a scientific fact, verified by undisputable evidence, that when objects are placed in mediums with less density, they sink. And when placed in mediums with higher density, they rise or float. For example, a rock in water will sink because the object's density is greater than the water's density, as will a ship's anchor. Likewise, helium-filled balloons rise because they are lighter than the air. Submarines float on the ocean when their ballast tanks are empty and contain air, and they sink when their ballast tanks begin to be filled with water. This is how they manipulate their depth in the ocean by adjusting the ratio of air and water in the tanks. This is proven by filling a balloon with 50% air and 50% helium. As helium is lighter than air and the ratios are even, the balloon remains fixed in the air without rising or falling. Ultimately, Newton's gravity erased the common sense of up and down and in its place normalized the preposterous idea that this is possible. And this. And that meanwhile, in Australia, this is nonsensical, pseudoscientific mockery and nothing more than an invention to justify the spinning spherical earth hoax.